Ethiopia, how to bend it like Halem Shaw Beckham. Days after Halem Shaw bent over for Meal Zanawi and betrayed his own followers' dream for democracy to the Tigray bandits ruling Ethiopia, he has started spending time to Paul Talks and radio shows such as Ben Page, Al Maudi's servant Yekin Dered and a tribalist denying that he has not been disloyal to his followers. Instead of addressing important issues related to the so-called election process that is tyrant's ritual, the weak, incoherent, selfish and insecure old man is wasting his time accusing opposition figures who chose to fight the armed gangsters ruling and ruining Ethiopia for almost two decades. Did he try to accuse the dictators who are now in power? If no, why? What may be the factors that have contributed for his intense faustiness against those who are fighting the Tigray tribal gangs? few days after he bent over for Zanawi. Why he now wants to abide by the TPLF rules of election ritual which he once opposed and went to prison for. Furthermore, why he spends more of his time accusing the opposition figures than voicing about the chronic injustice and human rights abuses that are being committed in Ethiopia. Does not mention about Beer Tukin Madiksa. Does not talk about the urgency of supporting the 14 million Ethiopians who are starving to death does not talk about the need of the preconditions or pre-specified rules such as independent election board, participatory democracy, independent army and police, impunity, independent central bank, ethnic federalism etc. does not consider the ruling armed gang group TPLF as a violent group then those who wants to defend themselves peer become like a TPLF in the future? And why? The answers are very simple. Loyalty for Halem Shoal is something he expects from others, not something he wishes to offer. The case of the late Ezra Waldice, the crisis in the cut and his current flip-flopping are enough evidences to, to tell how Halem can bend it like Beckham. <laughs>